Hey guys, Ty here, and this is going to be a very short and simple tutorial. I'm going to show you how to cast anything in your Oculus Quest to your PC. It can be Beat Saber, it can be apps on Oculus TV, any protected apps that normally can't be cast with the app, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now I know that there's a few tutorials out there, but I think mine is going to be by far the simplest, so check it out. Plugged in, and we can do it wirelessly, and we'll get to that, but you're gonna plug in your headset, all you're gonna come over here is you're just going to double click this batch file which I provide and bam, look at that. We are now casting Beat Saber and you can do it wirelessly as well. And wirelessly is uh, pretty simple. All you gotta do is plug it in. You're going to click connect wirelessly and we're just going to unplug that. Give it a couple of seconds, it doesn't happen instantly. And now no wires and we'll come over here and uh, look at that, we're now casting wirelessly. So pretty cool, let's jump into it. Tyco Tech, Tech Reviews and Tutorials. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to put your quest into developer mode and it is super, super simple. Like it takes like 30 seconds and I'm gonna show you how to do it right here. Click the link below to go to a dashboard at Oculus Quest. This is what's gonna come up. It may prompt you to sign in. So sign in with the same account that you've got associated with your quest. And we're just going to create a new organization and it can be, um, you know, let's have fun, Inc. And that's it. And then you're gonna click submit. You're going to go to I agree. And then bam, you're done. That's all you've got to do. Now go to your phone and I won't actually cast this, but make sure your Quest is on. Open up the Oculus app, click on Quest, go to settings, more settings, and then you'll see developer. Open that up and then tick it or developer mode and then tick it on. You're done. That's all you need to do. And the name can be anything. Nobody's ever going to see it. So just name it whatever you want. That's that. So now we've got developer mode uh, enabled. Easy peasy. You're going to open up they download the folder that I'll provide down below and it's called uh, Quest Casting and we've got Quest Casting and Quest Casting 64. So if you've got a 64-bit system, go ahead and select download the 64-bit version of it. If you're not sure, just get Quest Casting. It will work on 32 and 64 bits. So, uh, but I did want to provide both options. The important thing is that you put these folders on your C drive in order for these little batch files that I wrote to work. So it needs to look like this and we'll kind of blow this up here. So it needs to look like C slash Quest Casting 64. Don't change the name of the folder. Just put it on your C drive. Super, super simple with either the Quest Casting 64 or the 32-bit version, but stick it on your C drive. Next, all you've got to do if you want to cast with the wire is just go ahead and plug in the Quest. Now you may need an ADB driver, like USB driver. I'll provide a link down below there as well uh, if you need to download that. Um, but I think for the most part, it will probably just work without the drivers. Uh, and we'll go ahead and close this out right here. Uh, all you've got to do, like I showed you in uh, the preview there at the beginning of the uh, video here, is just double click cast here PC dot bat. My mouse is always so touchy. Uh, and then now if you get this error, more than one device emulator because I've got it wirelessly casting and cable casting, all you've got to do, and I created a simple batch for that, is click kill and reconnect and then let that run for a second and you're done and then we can go to cast to your PC and it'll push it and boom, you are casting. Let's see if we can open this up. Um, there we go. And now we're casting wired. If you want to cast wirelessly, uh, and that is also really easy to do, uh, you're going to want to have it plugged in. Let's go ahead and kill the ADB here. So we'll let that kill. Okay, now you're going to have to make one edit. So on this connect wireless ADB, right click on it and then click edit. Okay, from there, you're going to want to put your Quest's IP address, what the IP address is on your home network, right where this is right here, and we'll kind of blow this up so you can see. Just change that uh, to your local, to the IP address on the Quest. Uh, if you don't know what the IP address is on the Quest, <clears throat> just open up the browser and search for what's my local IP address, So, or what is my local IP address, and the first result that comes up, click that website, I don't remember the name, but it's always the first thing that comes up, and it will tell you what your local IP address is, what your home network IP is. Or if you know how to look up at your router, you can just look it up uh, on your router settings as well. If you know a bit about your router, I would set 
the IP on your quest just to be static. Uh, so that it's always the same, so you don't have to keep editing this. But if not, you just want to do this every now and then, you don't want to mess with dealing with your router, just pop in, browser search, what's my local IP address, and then go in and edit this there, and then all you're gonna do is go up to File, and then Save, or you can just hit Control S. That's that. Then, with it plugged in, you're just going to connect wireless, there we go, and it should pop open uh, the storage for the Quest one more time. You know that that's done the right thing. Unplug it, wait, yeah, a few seconds, it doesn't take too long, but you don't wanna click it really, really quick, and then right back up here, cast your Quest, and it'll always give you these weird errors, but, and there you go, you are now casting. Uh, for audio, I would recommend maybe, you know, plugging this into a speaker so that everybody can hear it so it's really loud. Uh, but the volume on this is pretty good, so if you're in a party environment or you're showing people, they're gonna be able to hear the audio coming from the headset just fine. And uh, there you go, that is it. Super short, super sweet. I also included uh, a file in here with the correct cropping for your Oculus Go. So if you happen to have a Go, you can uh, do that as well. Oh, and one other kind of side feature, let's open this back up again, is that when it's casting, you get this casting window, uh, and here you can see it there, da 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 da. Doesn't matter if it's live or not, it can be black. Any apps that you wanna s install to the Quest, like side loading, all you've gotta do is drag them to this casting window. So you've got them in your downloads, you've got you know, a Mario emulator or a Nintendo emulator or Angry Birds or Pavlov or anything like that. All you've gotta do is drag it over to this casting window. Same thing for transferring like a movie. If you just wanna quickly transfer a movie, just drag it over here and it'll put it right on your quest. Super, super simple. So that's that. So you get casting plus a bonus of super easy side loading. It doesn't get any easier than that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you liked it, hit that subscribe button. If you aren't already, hit the bell button to get notified when I do more of these. And that's it, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks.